Please subscribe. New stories, every week. In the quiet village of Sleepy Hollow, nestled among rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a group of children who were the best of friends. Their names were Thomas, Sarah, Emily, and Daniel, and they spent their days exploring the woods, playing by the brook, and listening to the tales told by the village's school teacher, Ichabod Crane. One of their favorite stories was the legend of the ghostly horseman, a spooky and mysterious figure who roamed the village on moonless nights. Ichabod Crane was a master storyteller, and he would often gather the children around to tell them the tale of the ghostly horseman. His stories were filled with suspense, adventure, and a hint of fear that sent shivers down their spines. One cool autumn evening, as the sun set over Sleepy Hollow, the children gathered near the brook to discuss their upcoming Halloween adventure. The town square was adorned with carved pumpkins, scarecrows, and colorful leaves, and they were determined to have an exciting Halloween of their own. Thomas, the leader of the group, suggested, What if we decide to do something different this Halloween? What if, instead of being scared of the ghostly horseman, we try to help him? The other children exchanged curious glances. Help the ghostly horseman? Emily questioned. But he's supposed to be spooky and mysterious. Are you sure about this? Thomas nodded with determination. Yes, I've been thinking about it. What if he's not as scary as we've been led to believe? What if he's just a lost soul in need of help? Sarah, always the compassionate one, chimed in. Maybe he's been searching for something for a very long time, and he doesn't know how to find it. If we can help him, we'll not only solve the mystery but also do something kind. The children decided that their Halloween adventure would be to find the ghostly horseman and offer him their help. With lanterns in hand, they set out on a moonless night, venturing into the deep woods, where they had heard the ghostly tune of the horseman's flute. The forest was quiet and shrouded in darkness, but their lanterns lit the way, casting a warm, comforting glow. They followed the eerie music until they reached a clearing, where a mesmerizing sight awaited them. There, bathed in a soft, ethereal light, stood the ghostly horseman. He was holding his pumpkin lantern, and his flute played a melancholic melody that tugged at their heartstrings. The children watched in wonder, captivated by the beautiful but haunting scene. As the ghostly horseman played his flute, the children approached with kindness in their hearts. They spoke to him gently, telling stories of friendship, love and the joys of life in Sleepy Hollow. They shared tales of the village's beauty, the laughter of children, and the warmth of their community. The lantern, which had previously glowed with a faint, now pulsed with a warm, inviting light. It was as if the lantern was responding to the children's words and their compassion. Thomas, taking the lead, decided to offer a heartfelt apology. He spoke from his heart, saying, We're sorry if we were ever scared of you. We didn't understand your story and we want to help you, so you can be at peace. The spectral pumpkin lantern trembled, and the ghostly horseman's gaze softened. It was as if the lantern was acknowledging Thomas's words and the kindness of the children. The children continued to speak, sharing their stories and their hearts with the ghostly horseman. The lantern pulsed more brightly. In a burst of radiant light, the ghostly horseman stood before them, whole and complete. He looked at the children with gratitude and wonder, a smile in his hollow eyes. Thank you, kind children, he said in a voice filled with emotion. You have freed me from my eternal search and given me a chance for peace. I am no longer the ghostly horseman, but a soul set free. The children felt a sense of joy and accomplishment, knowing that they had helped the ghostly horseman bring an end to his endless quest. As dawn approached, they returned to the village, where they shared their incredible adventure with their families and friends. The legend of the ghostly horseman was no longer a tale of fear. It became a story of hope, friendship, and the power of kindness. The people of Sleepy Hollow were no longer afraid of the horseman, he had become their protector and a guardian spirit. The village continued to be a place of wonder and enchantment, where legends and stories filled the air, and the ghostly horseman was no longer a figure of fright but a symbol of friendship, kindness, and the spirit of Halloween. And so, the children of Sleepy Hollow learned that sometimes, the things that seem the scariest can turn out to be the most wonderful when you offer a helping hand and show kindness and compassion.